What's up? This is Dave from Flaming Wreckage. Let's make some hot sauce. First things first, a couple of red onions. We're gonna roast these up. We're gonna combine red roasted onions and red raw onions. Roasted onions are just the fucking best. Put that shit with some garlic. Man, you can never have enough roasted garlic, by the way. So we're just gonna chuck these in a little cast iron. That can go in the oven. Two of them. So this is a recipe that we developed with the guys at uh, Sparky's Jerk Chicken. Shout out to Ernie, amazing cook. I gave him this recipe, he gave it a few little tweaks and uh, we had a couple of beers down at Young Henry's and put it all together. So this is a downscaled version of it. Now we're gonna do, oh, let's go a whole head of garlic, fuck it. We fucked around with a few different combinations of things. And uh, roasted garlic wins every time over raw garlic. Raw garlic can be pretty overpowering, so roasted garlic's the way to go. All right, so grab some foil or baking paper. Use just baking paper here. Fuck all your garlic in there. Pinch of salt. A little bit of oil. Wrap it up like Chrissy present. Chuck it in the pan and that's going in the oven. So this has been preheating 180 degrees. I'm gonna chuck this in there for like 20 minutes until it smells real good and the garlic's nice and gooey, nice and tasty. While that's happening, let's contend with our chilies. So you absolutely need gloves for this because if you go for a piss after this, you will be in a world of fucking pain. <laughs> there we go, that's one. Okay, so we're using fresh habaneros and dried ghost chilies. These are the ghost chilies, definitely not to be fucked with. Um, what we're gonna do with these is just toast them up first. So we'll get another pan. And we're just gonna dry toast these. Just to release some of that flavor and these make some, it makes it a little bit more malleable when you're blending them because we're gonna make a puree out of this. So just put that on kind of a low heat and when the aroma starts to come up, you can turn it off. And we're gonna also take the seeds out of these because it gets, it's really bitter, the seeds that you get in a the, in the ghost chili. But the habaneros, we'll fucking leave them in. They'll be fine. These are big boys too. All right, so just slice the top off that. Uh, these are massive, so we're just gonna use two and we're gonna go to a blender with a little bit of vinegar, and that's all you need. This, that's like a cup of vinegar. And chuck this on. There you go. You want it pretty loose like that. We just do it with quite a lot of vinegar. And we're gonna add more vinegar into the sauce as well. So that's one puree. Pull that into a bowl so we can make the ghost one. Make sure you wash this thoroughly. You can smell that now. It smells hot, fucking helps. Just let them cool down for a little bit and we're gonna chop the ends off and get rid of the seeds. You'll see they've softened a lot. If you try to cut into these when they're just completely dry, it'll, they'll just shatter everywhere, which is not what you want. You see that's like nice and malleable there. So you'll see inside this, the, the seeds are quite dense in the top, so you kind of just need to open it up, get your scrap bowl, and just get as much of that out as you can. There's still, all the flavor is in the skin of these chilies. The seeds I find really bitter. You can leave them in there if you're completely insane. Do what you like. So that can go into our chili neutral bullet. I think I should have a designated chili neutral bullet, because I feel like there's gonna be a day where I just I'm a bit loose with washing it and you don't want a ghost chili flavored smoothie. That's the thing with this sauce, like it's flavor first. I'm not trying to make something that is just hot for the sake of it. Ghost chilies are like right up there with the hottest, but I think they're also really tasty. So it's kind of a good pairing with this and the habanero together. This, this technique of like just dry roasting these is like super useful in a lot of other dishes as well. And if you toast them up in a dry pan and then you like rehydrate them with either chicken stock or just water, that with a bunch of Mexican spices and stuff is a really good marinade. All right, so we got our ghosts in there. So we're gonna do a little bit more vinegar. Let's, we'll make this one a bit thicker. So we'll just do a touch just to get it going. 
That'll be funny. Now, just watch this because this is fucking the real deal. Once you blend this up, just pure gnarly chili. So do it in a well ventilated area if you can. Give it a few pulses. There you go. So yeah, this is a real dark red color compared to the habaneros, which is a lot brighter. And if you look at that, it doesn't look like much, but that will fuck you up if you have that straight. <coughs> oh, fuck it, I told you. <coughs> Woo! Okay, so we just need to wait for our onions and garlic to finish roasting, and then we'll start building this sauce out. The onions and garlic, pretty much done here. So, get these out. That's what you want. Some nice browning on the top of those onions and you can just feel the garlic's nice and soft. We're gonna blend this up as well. Unwrap your Chrissy present. If someone gave me garlic for Christmas, wouldn't be mad. Wouldn't be mad at all. All right, so let's go in the blender. Oops. That's what you want. Nice bit of color on that. This has still got chili all over it, but it's all going in, so let's go for it. This is our roasted onions, roasted garlic, make a puree out of this. We did put olive oil on there, so, and a bit of salt, so we probably don't need to add anything else to this, just blitz it up. There we go. Nice and smooth. Now, we can start building this. So let's get this pot on the heat. So you don't want this like rearing, just have a nice gentle simmer because with hot sauce, you're gonna be adding a lot of sugar and that's why you need to constantly stir because the sugar gets stuck to the bottom, then you're in trouble. So, while that's heating up, let's put that on low. We're gonna strain these peaches. This was a happy accident when we made this. These peaches are fucking awesome and they come in this syrup which is really delicious. And we're not actually adding a shitload of sugar because this is quite sweet already. So we're gonna use a whole jar of these, but we're gonna strain out this syrup first. It's peach juice all over you in the process. Okay, so let's go. Whoa. Let's go in with our roasted onions here on the pot. Get that in there. We'll get our peaches in there. Whole thing goes in. And key step with this is don't add any chili until you're happy with the flavor. Because if you add chili straight off the bat, it can fuck up your whole palate and you will have no idea where you're at. So you wanna make a really delicious jam kind of thing first. And then from there, we can See where we're at with flavors, seasonings. It's just starting to cook down now. So we've got our roasted onions in there, but we're also gonna add some, some raw red onion. This gives it a bit of zing. Keep an eye on this, because just remember that sugar. If the sugar starts sticking to the bottom, you kinda gotta start again, unfortunately. So we're not gonna let that happen. Okay, so that's pretty thick. So we're gonna, we're gonna add our peach juice to this. Just do this in increments because you don't want it to be too sweet, but you would be shocked at how much fucking sugar goes into hot sauce. It's quite a lot normally. And then we'll add about a cup of vinegar. I have an issue with the manufacturers of these. Every time you fucking use it, it just goes straight down here. Anyway, we've got every, pretty much everything in there now. We'll crank the heat slightly. Just cook that down, let it thicken slightly. And then we'll blitz it up and then we'll start seasoning it. See where we're at and then we can add our chili. We've done a couple of hot sauces with the band actually, which has been awesome, both with Sparky's. And uh, each time Ernie's always just like, it's not sweet enough, man. Needs more sugar. And uh, it turns out he's right because he's made a shitload of hot sauce. So let's start blitzing this up. So just get a stick bitch and just rip in. Right, 
That's looking pretty good. We'll give it another go in a sec, but we're gonna taste this soon, see where we're at. Okay, so now's the time where the sugar will start sticking to the bottom a little bit, so just keep stirring it. And you'll feel it if it does. So now we're gonna add some seasoning. We're gonna go half a tablespoon of salt. This is raw sugar. So in the scheme of things, there's not that much sugar for a hot sauce, but we, remember we've got the peaches in the syrup, so that's already sweet, so we don't need to go wild on this. That's going in. And we got a couple of spices here. Got some ground cinnamon, half a tablespoon. Don't go too heavy on that because uh, that's quite overpowering, but cinnamon and peaches. It's Christmas, baby. Lovely. So as you add each one, just make sure it's fully incorporated. Most hot sauces have something in it called xanthan gum, which is an artificial thickening agent. That's how you get that real silky smooth sort of texture that you'll find in like a store-bought sauce, like a Nando's or whatever. But we're not actually using that on, on this one because the peaches provide so much natural thickness that it's just totally unnecessary, which is great. No artificial colors or flavors. All right, and we've got some cumin here as well, half a tablespoon. Okay, I'm happy with that. So let's have a taste, see where we're at. Very important to taste as you go, just because you're never gonna get exactly the same flavor from the chilies, the peaches, you know, like there's a few variables. And just because this is a, a homemade sauce, we're not doing this in a factory. You gotta taste as you go, make sure that everything's sitting where it should be. Yep. Yeah, that's really good. Sweet. The spices aren't too overwhelming. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So now we can add our chili. And if you're making this at home and you want it to be like mild, you can obviously just add a little bit. But obviously we're gonna add the fucking mega boss of ghost chili. We have a song called Ghosts on the album, so this sauce kind of had to happen. So let's go in with all of that. And this will totally transform the color of this now to like a nice sort of dark orange. And let's just start with half of our habanero. And like I said, the, the way that these chilies react with each other is really good. To complementary flavors I think and one chili is just not enough you need to have a couple in there and now you can give this a good boil like you want it to be bubbling cooks off all the shit fully incorporates everything so that when you bottle this you do it while it's still hot and it seals it nicely that's a good consistency too I'm not a huge fan of like a super runny hot sauce a lot of a lot of people will go for the super high vinegar content and just it's just vinegar and chili it's good on some stuff but i like it with a bit more body if i'm honest last little seasoning we're just going to add lots of black pepper so bring it together just do this until your hands sore that's how you know it's enough hands sore all right yeah we'll just let that cook out for a little bit longer and then we're pretty much there pretty simple really just roast a few things up you know, make sure you taste as you go. I think the roasted veggies in this is what kind of gives it that real depth. You could even roast up the habaneros before you puree them. That would be another layer of flavor. But I kind of like that raw edge that that brings because the ghosts are their own beast. So you kind of want to cut through that a little bit. That's why it's so much vinegar and hot sauce. It cuts through all the rich flavors of everything else. So yeah, I think you kind of just let this go for like five minutes or so, just keep stirring. When it, when it, you can just let it, let it rest for a bit. Once the bubbles start come up, let's give it another stir. All right, so if you see this now, this is like really on the boil. All that, all those essential oils from the spices are coming to the surface. That's what that is there. So just turn that down. 
and then it will thicken as it cools. But um, yeah, man, that's a hot sauce, I think. We'll give this a taste and see where we're at with chili levels because we've still got a little bit of habanero we can add if we're filling up to it. Wow, that's good. Fuck. It'll, it'll taste like it's gonna blow your head off at first, but when this cools down, it'll be a bit more manageable. But even though that's hot, it can still taste everything in there. Fucking. All right, let's bottle it up. Go, yeah, nice color, beautiful. There you have it. That's our ghost chili sauce. Flaming Wreckage, Sparky's Jerk Chicken, Killer Collab there. Absolutely stoked on this one. You can get this on our website, flamingwreckage.com, or you can buy it at shows. Chili heads, chili enthusiasts, we want to hear from you. Let us know if it's too hot, let us know if it's not hot enough, because we're going to keep making more of this shit. So, get around it. There it is, ghost chili sauce.